releases an image from Santa's morning meeting shortly after he told the group they are not going into D.C. on the 4th. But he also had a reveal of what the plan was yesterday. And it boils down to threatening the police. I'm going to read the quotes from Santa today that he gave as his little speech of what he was going to do. You can watch his VOD if you want to hear it from his own mouth. He said he wanted the police to come up to them when they were double wide and tell them to stop doing it. He said so then he could say, We support our law enforcement, but you don't dictate the form of our protest. Make no mistake, this is a protest. If you continue to do so, you have 30 seconds to either back off to give us a front and rear escort too wide through the city, or we will show you what a real protest looks like. He said he had a timer set up, and that while the timer was going, he was going to say, Convoy, drain the swamp, and the rear of the convoy was going to go four wide. And then he yells about how they were going 14 miles per hour. They wanted the police to stop them. Their plan was to endanger motorists to the point the police get involved. And this was live streamed on YouTube. And the admission to this was live streamed on YouTube. Santa's morning meeting is up. You can hear him say it yourself if you think I'm somehow misconstruing it. It's all out there. It's all public. Now Santa had a few ideas for why the police didn't stop them. One of them was there was something more urgent. Another one was that maybe they had an infiltrator in the camp that told the police. And another one was maybe they found out in another way and didn't want to give the convoy what it wants. But I do want to be clear, if you're going 14 miles per hour down a road that's supposed to be much faster, you are endangering the public, you can be ticketed, you can be stopped, you are a danger. Just because you label it as a protest doesn't stop you from getting arrested as we've seen with protests across America. So, I mean, hey, remember, these are the same people that believe they can put a white flag on their vehicle and not get arrested. And I have to assume that this is basically the plan for the fourth, to do something like that, maybe immediately go four wide and try to like cause road blockages around the fourth. But, uh, hey, maybe they'll do this again where they just go too wide and then complain the police didn't stop them. But wouldn't it just be the most hilarious thing you've ever seen to get some of that like DC traffic copter footage of one of the convoy members getting arrested and just see that white flag of surrender waving in the air that they thought would protect them because they are very dumb people.